Hi, I want to show you how to make a t-shirt face mask. This is a design I came up with after looking at a lot of different patterns. Um, it has a drawstring as its main feature and ties in the back with like a little slip knot so it's adjustable. And it will go over your ears and you can bunch it up or unbunching it to get a really good fit on your face. Um, I have two sizes. This is based on other um, guidance I found on other face masks and so the finished size of the adult is about five by eight and a half, child four by seven and a half. Um, what you need is a t-shirt that you're going to cut up and a sewing machine and thread. You need a safety pin to help you uh, put this cord into the casings and a chopstick might be helpful when we're turning the corners inside out and also putting into the casings if you're if they're clogged with um, the seam allowance or something to get them open so you can put the cord through. So step one is you want to cut your fabric and so for the t-shirt I tried um, you really want to cut it with the long way of this fabric going up the t-shirt. I tried it the other direction and it and it works fine enough. Um, this is the other direction and it kind of made the top a little bit uh, wonky and didn't quite fit as nicely over the front. Um, if you have it stretched this way, which is the direction the fabric stretching up and down rather than across the face, you get a better fit. So I recommend um, cutting it long ways with the t-shirt direction going that way. Uh, for this is um, a, for the adult, you want six and a half, I mean six wide by 18 inches long. For a child, it'd be five inches by 16 inches long. Uh, the way that I cut this was I actually just took a little nip where I wanted um, to start and end my six inches. So I measured six inches out and did a clip. And you can actually just tear, hold this down here, tear your fabric. You can get a nice uh, tear along the grain of the fabric and so it will be nice and even and not skewed one way or another. This is also the same method that you need to do in order to make the drawstring later. So you get your fabric the right dimensions and then you want to fold it in half with the right sides together and the wrong sides out for um, t-shirt fabric you can tell that because the wrong side it curls towards the wrong side. So this is step two. <clears throat> so it's folded in half. This is the fold side. And um, what you want to do is you want to sew along the edges here, but you want to leave half inch gaps here, here, and here that become the openings for the casing. So on this folded edge, I actually started sewing. I backstitched about a half inch away from that fold and then a seam allowance is about a quarter of an inch. You can make a little bit more if you want, like three eighths, all the way up to here. And then this, I backstitch right here, about a half inch away from the seam where the seam is going to start again. And I just moved my machine, so this is not sewn. It's open there. Jumped it over, backstitched here, went down this side, backstitched here, jumped again another half inch. Again, this is not sewn here. It's just the thread from where I jumped and then sewed and then you want to leave a couple inches here at the edge to turn this inside out. So leave that opening. So in step three, turn everything inside out and you're going to want to press it. So here's that opening that I used to turn. I want to press those seam allowances down, make those nice and straight, press these up and this is where you can use your um, chopstick to get the nice corners in like that to turn it nicely and then press. Step four, you want to sew again. This is to sew down the edges and to make the drawstring cases. So I started up here at the top, back stitch, and I sewed really close to the edge here, about an eighth of an inch all the way over here. And then I stopped about a half inch from the seam. Again, this is where that opening is at the top and the bottom. Sewed a half inch away from the edge to make my casing. Then came down here real close, so an eighth of an inch at the edge again, and then that will help close off that opening that we had down here before. This helps, that edge stitching helps close that off. And then I go up a half an inch away, and then back stitch here. So now I've got casing here, 
and this is sewn down and that opening is closed. The last step is to make the cord. So I showed you how to cut that cord. You want um, you know, a long piece. When you stretch this um, after you've cut it, it'll get longer. So I think mine's at least 40 inches now. Um, just play around with size to see if it'll fit you or someone that there. Um, <coughs> but you want it, I would say no more than an inch when you cut it or about an inch, but you want it to be strong enough so it won't break, but not too thick that you can't fit it through the casings. So you're going to want to insert it at the bottom and go up the top and then come out here. And again, use a safety pin. Just pin that through it and then go in and go out. And then when you're done, just knot off the ends. Maybe double knot them so they don't come through. Uh, these are intended for people with... Um, like patients, the vulnerable po populations, patients, nursing home, homeless. Um, I'm not intending these to work for healthcare workers. I really hope that they get the actual uh, medical grade surgical masks. But if there's other vulnerable p populations that you know of, please make these and donate to them. Um, wash them and um, sanitary before um, you give it to anybody or make sure that if you're dropping off at a hospital somewhere, or place and they plan to wash them. Um, cotton's really good about that. Um, again, these are cotton t-shirts, just old t-shirts that I use. Hopefully lots of you have those around. So again, um, make these, donate these. If you're healthy, don't have symptoms, you don't need to wear these, but there are lots of people out there who are vulnerable and um, hopefully our healthcare workers will get what they need, but they might need them too. So just make these, um, donate these. If you have any other questions, please let me know, or any other ideas of how to make these. But I was trying to make something that people have lots of material of, and we all have t-shirts. I've got tons of them. So thank you so much. If you have any questions, please let me know. Stay safe, stay well, stay busy, and stay positive. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.